to share with you today from a beautiful psalm that's known by just about everybody. It's so popular that I often use it at funerals in order that people who would recognise it might understand the goodness and mercy of God. It's Psalm 23 and I'm reading from the New Living Translation. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honour to his name. Even when I walk through the dark valley of death, I will not be afraid, for you're close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You welcome me as a guest. My cup overflows with blessing. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. And I just want to draw out one, one or two little points out of that. First one is this, it's to do with pursuit, it's to do with following. Uh, many years ago, I'm going to tell you about an incident that I'm not particularly proud of. Uh, when I was 18, I had a fabulous Cortez, Corsair, Ford Corsair 1500. It was my pride and joy. Um, if you want to know what one of those is, you probably see it on something like Heartbeat because it's pretty dated. Anyway, um, I was driving this late one night on my own and I drove down a narrow road. There were cars parked on the other side of the road and a car was coming the other way. And like lots of silly young men, I took a risk, headed for the gap and shot through it, causing the other car to break quite hard and stop. I drove past thinking, job good, well done. But when I looked round, I saw that the guy was doing a three-point turn and he was going to come after me. Now, I kept looking in my mirror and I was a bit worried because it's not nice being chased like that. And uh, so I thought, well, I better get a move on. So off I went as quick as I could with him following me and little by little gaining ground on me. And I thought, oh, well, I've got to stop really and see what he's got to say. At the very least, when he gets out of the car, I can drive off. And he won't catch me. So I stopped. He stopped behind me. He got out of the car and I looked in my mirror and I saw he was wearing blue and that he had epaulets on his shirt and he was wearing a peak cap and I realised he was a policeman. The policeman had a good long chat with me, taught me uh, quite a lot of good things about being a wally when I'm driving and uh, gave me a good stern talking to, which I thoroughly deserved. Now the thing is this, he pursued me and wouldn't let me go. He kept on after me until he caught up with me and effectively overtook me so that he could apprehend me. And in this psalm, it talks about, it talks about goodness and unfailing love will pursue me. This is our lot as Christians, that God's unfailing love, God's goodness and blessings are pursuing us all the time, all the days of our life, it says, and it will keep on going until it overtakes us. So in these difficult times, we've got to recognise that God's goodness, God's mercy and unfailing love are coming after us. No matter where we go, no matter what we get involved in, God's amazing love is pursuing us and will overtake us all the days of our life. So think on that today. Think about goodness and love and loving kindness. I think other translations say goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. So anticipate goodness and mercy, pursuing you, apprehending you and overtaking you. And then you'll feel, you'll know God loves you so very much. God bless you. Thanks for listening.